Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to our UT Source channel. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how I made this cute little heart badge. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, you can check our website for buying discrete electronic component which are being used in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. The main goal was to make a heart shaped badge. So I first prepared a heart outline board and then added 50 0603 LEDs on the inside boundary of this PCB layout. This was its circuit diagram. The end result was this cool looking PCB and after this I added a simple MOSFET as a switch setup for controlling these LEDs. An 80 tiny 13 will control the gate of this MOSFET. If you want to know more about how to use MOSFETs then definitely check this video of ours. Now after etching the PCB I started the assembly process which is divided in two parts. The first part is the SMD assembly and the second part is the through hole assembly. I first added the solder paste to the LED pads one by one. The solder paste process looks something like this. I added LEDs on their assigned places along with this MOSFET and few resistance and a diode. The soldering process is pretty long, so I'm gonna fast forward that now. For soldering this board, I use this hot plate which heats this PCB up to the solder paste melting point. Now after soldering everything, we can now add the THT components which are the USB port battery connector, jumper wires, the 80 tiny dip socket. Before adding the MCU, I first uploaded this program onto the 80 tiny chip with this 80 tiny programmer. Here's the code which I use and now let's just see the result of this build. But before that, I first 3D printed this base with white PLA and added this PCB onto this base to make this setup more sturdy and nice looking. Just provide 5V through this USB and push the button for changing the state of this MOSFET. And our setup is working. I hope you guys love this little badge. If yes, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back with another video. So stay tuned.